Ja, ik was. Microfoon, je hangt een microfoon. Even, we we'll have um, the first press conference will be tonight's game and then we move on to the preview for the Nottingham Forest game. Uh, we have a mic and we also have simultaneous uh, translation. Vinny, can you start? Uh, Jürgen, nine points from a possible nine. How satisfied are you with what you saw again tonight? Very, very. Um, result good, performance good. Um, especially a lot of really good individual performances, uh, which is nice because important for development. Um, yeah, besides the goal we conceded and the, and the chance. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, and the chance we, we gave them and Trent had this spectacular save. Um, around that, everything what we expected. Toulouse is a good team and Toulouse is playing football. And um, when we gave them, we put a proper shift in. That's what I wanted. Um, and then you know, the goals we scored were wonderful. I would say the right players scored the goals. All of them were really, really good. And um, so, yeah, nothing to complain, really. Obviously, a win will guarantee passage into the next phase, the knockout phase in the next game against Toulouse. But this is the first time in 32 years that Liverpool have won each of the first seven home games in a season, so that on top of the fact that what you've seen tonight and also how you've done in this competition so far, what is all that saying about the strength and depth that you've got within this squad now? Hmm. Yeah, obviously I, I didn't know it and I didn't think about it, um, but I think I said before, um, I think it's really it's really easy to to fall in love with this team because it's so much excitement in it. We are we 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 have to make massive steps. We have to to grow. We have to get more stable. We have to do a lot of things, but um, a lot of signs are really um, promising. That's true as well. And how the team interacts with each other is is really nice because we had to. When you talk about the rebuild of a team, then it's all about the, the things what you see on the pitch, obviously. But it's um, as to, to see that there must be a rebuild of the pitch as well, and that's going really well. Players grow into, into their into their new roles, if you want, and um, yeah, that's all good. But um, besides that, nothing really happened. I mean, we, we, we imagine we wouldn't have won all three games in the, in the in the European League, and everybody would tell me, "How can you not?" Blah blah blah. So it's it's all it's small margins. That's how it is. But so far, it's okay. And before we play to lose again, we have three games. So there is a lot what can happen between now and then. And I would like to play them all one after the other, and not um, making two big steps. And um, so yeah, no, good. It seems that Ryan Gravenberg is putting a, a big smile on your face as well. Um, and it seemed that he got the biggest hug when he came off the pitch tonight as well. Uh, was that as much for him being able to slot when Nunes hit the post as well as his overall performance? Uh, there the goal was, was immediately before, was it? No. Yeah. I don't know. So, guess, um, but um, I don't know. I, I, I really like him as a, as a boy and, and as, a, as a player. And it's really nice to see how much he starts um, believing in himself again that's obviously very important for a, for a young for each player but for a young player especially um, and so that's cool lots to improve still lots to improve which is a, it's good news because everybody sees the good signs and that the, the potentially has but there's so much more to come so that's good I like a lot of individual performance but I would like to mention um, Bataro and Lo because um, <laughs> So obviously, I'm not sure people think that's spectacular or whatever, but the, the forward passes he played tonight were, were absolutely incredible and how, how often he broke lines with one touch, that was absolutely insane. Then he scores a wonderful goal, uh, which helps each player, even uh, a, a more experienced player. Um, so that's really cool. Um, he would have got a similar hug if I would have taken him off, but he had to play through. I just want to ask you finally from me anyway about, about Darwin, because he, he scores a good goal. He and played the, incredible. The play before he hit the post, the uh, way he's gone past the defender yeah, yeah, and rounded yeah. the keeper. The calmness is there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's now... That, uh, that, honestly, yeah. In this moment, I don't think... I, I, I couldn't care less that he hits the post in that moment because everything before was super convincing, was absolutely clear, was that how he took the, the defender away, how he passed the goalie. It was a perfect situation. 
Um, he played really good. Um, the goal he scored, the situation was involved, dropping into midfield, staying on the ball, all these kind of things. So there were a lot of good things. And he is in a good moment, and that's for us obviously important. And um, So I'm really pleased for him with the performance. And yes, it's a bit of slapstick that the ball goes not in, and then Ryan finishes it off, then it's cool. Um, but they said before the game, he's, he's a happy um, boy or man in the moment, and you can see that every day. And you know, we have to make sure that it stays like that. Any more? Any more on tonight's game before we move on? You don't. Yes. Um, obviously, a full, full debut for Luke Chambers and then two more debuts off the bench. Obviously a proud night for them. How pleased were you with Luke and the others who came off the bench? Very. It's really nice. So they all deserve it massively. Uh, Luke had a long injury. So he had a really good year last year in Scotland. Um, was a lot of interest there in the summer, but we, we, I didn't blink for a second and I thought I'd come and let him go. Um, because I really think that in the moment our U23s, when they're all together, that's a super strong side and um, they, that, that's important as well and they train with us. And, uh, the session we had yesterday, the minus one session, a proper minus one session in the longer period between um, uh, Premier League and the, the, the European League game, then you have a proper session. Uh, you don't get that somewhere, uh, this quality and stuff like this. So it's really important that the boys go through that as well. Um, please for him, he's not, I wouldn't say Luke is in the moment in his top, top, top shape because of the injury and because of another a little setback. But we 100% believe in him and um, trust him and I wanted to show that tonight. So on a position, the next one is knocking on the door with Callum. Um, everybody could see, really exciting player and uh, a few... <laughs> Um, situations where, yeah, where he was maybe too excited, but um, uh, a real talent, a real talent, and uh, a real heart for football. And James played a sensational preseason for us. I, we, we gave him a new position, put him on the six, and um, he did really well there because he's very smart, and he deserves it well. If Ben Doak would have been available tonight, he would have got minutes, um, like Bobby Clark probably would have got minutes. So that's um, how it is, and we should not forget. Um, Jura Kwanza, who, who played again. So, a lot of good boys coming up, and um, it's, n some, it's not enough that I tell them what I do from time to time, not too often, but from time to time, but um, sometimes you have to show it tonight, we had the opportunity to do so, and we did, and that's good. Right, we move on to the Forest preview. Just to be clear, all content from this session.